What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Dr. G. Med Hustle. I want to expose to you one of the biggest scams in the healthcare industry and one of the causes why you're paying so much for your healthcare that you may perceive to be low quality care. There's a lot of complexities and dynamics in the healthcare system that causes low quality of care, high cost of care, even a lot of burnout among physicians. Over half of physicians feel burnout and are losing passion for their job. This job that we fought so hard for and treated it as a passion and a journey and part of our identity, it's becoming very, very tenuous and strenuous and there's a big reason for that that's not being talked about. I'm going to tell you all about it. Before we delve into the details, I want to tell you that there's over $300 billion of annual healthcare waste, 300 Bs with a B, beta, billions, waste. And this occurs on so many levels. And you can look this up across multiple journals. They've done these studies. Here I have an image in front of me, $236.6 billion of waste due to pricing failure. And this is the point I'm going to target today because prices are non-transparent. One of the biggest problems, if we want to fix it, is to increase transparency in prices. The main agenda against price transparency comes from people called PBM, pharmacy benefit managers. If you want to target somebody who's causing a lot of waste and a lot of problems for patients, you should target pharmacy benefit managers because these are the middlemen that price gouge, they set high prices, they scam multiple stakeholders, and the end point, the receiving end of the short end of the stick is the patient. Let me give you an example. A pharmacy benefit manager, we're going to call them PBM. PBMs, what do they do? They're the middleman between a pharmaceutical that creates a drug and the hospital and insurance companies that supply the drug to the patient. Let's say you have cancer and you need chemotherapy. The chemotherapy number A. Chemotherapy number A for a specific patient costs $10 a month if they have a certain health insurance. The same diagnosis for another patient with a different insurance company, that chemotherapy A can cost them over $50,000 a month. How is there such a discrepancy? How come one patient is paying so much and the other has almost all of their care covered? The reason for this is because of these PBM, pharmacy benefit managers. What do they do? The pharmacy benefit manager goes to the pharmaceutical company and says, hey, we need chemotherapy A and we want to add this chemotherapy to the list of medications supplied by this hospital and by insurance company A. So the pharmaceutical says, okay, we'll put this drug, uh, we'll give you our drug, but uh, you have to pay. Basically, what happens is the pharmacy benefit manager gets a massive rebate from the pharmaceutical. They negotiate with pharmacy pharmaceutical and say, hey, let us put your chemotherapy on this hospital's formulary and we'll do that so you can sell it at high scale. But in order to do that, in order to give you access to this hospital's formulary, you have to give us a massive rebate, a massive discount. So the pharmaceutical says, you know what, I'll give you a discount because my long term return on investment is going to outweigh uh, this discount. What happens now? The PBM gets a rebate, a discount on the scale of 10 to 20 to hundreds millions of dollars in order to give access to the pharmaceutical to bring their drug onto the hospital's formulary, which is a list of medications that the hospital can give out to their patients. Now comes the problem. It's a phenomenon called spread pricing. You can look this up. Spread pricing occurs when the PBM gets a massive rebate from the pharmaceuticals. Then they turn around 180 degrees and they upcharge the hospital and the insurance company for this chemotherapy. So basically, they get millions of dollars of discounts. Then they upcharge to get millions of dollars more in profit. So who's eating the cost? The hospital and the insurance companies are eating the cost of this drug. And it has to funnel onto the patients in order for the hospital and insurance company to continue making profit. These PBMs are the negotiators, the middlemen, and they eliminate any price transparency. This is one example of how they operate. Spread pricing. It's an evil and corrupt practice for causing so much prices 
to go up for the patient. This is just one technique that they use. In fact, they serve as gatekeepers for certain drugs. Let's say that chemotherapy B is actually the best chemotherapy to treat that specific cancer. But if the PBM got a rebate only for chemotherapy A, well, guess what? The hospital is only going to carry chemotherapy A, which may be a second or third line chemotherapy for that cancer. So you having cancer are not getting the best evidence-based first line treatment for your cancer. Why? Because of the negotiations that took place in the boardroom meetings that have nothing to do with evidence-based medicine. They only have to do with the landscape of negotiation and who, where, and who gets the money. That's really the bottom line of how healthcare is operating behind the scenes. It's very complex. I'm trying to simplify it as much as possible. Let me give you another example. Have you ever needed a medication and then the doctor says, oh, we need a prior authorization to get you this medication? What does that even mean? A prior authorization is when a doctor has to call some person in the office who may have a quasi relationship to medicine or any healthcare knowledge. They call that person to convince them that this patient needs a drug or an MRI or a scan that will benefit their health. Pharmacy benefit managers, the PBMs, introduce prior authorization barriers on medications to dissuade doctors from prescribing a specific medication. Basically, they funnel whatever drug onto the formulary that they please, and it, it comes down to, does this drug benefit the PBM or not? It's not about the patients. So how come we go back to this chemotherapy costing $10 and it costs $30,000 for the other patient. It's because there's also negotiations between the PBM and the insurance companies. Let's say PBM with insurance company A have a great negotiation deal and they say, okay, we'll make this cheap for your consumers because you have so many of them. We're going to get our return on interest by you buying this drug so frequently. If you're covered by an insurance company that doesn't see that many cancer patients, then the PBM has negotiation leverage over your insurance company to say, we're going to charge you so much because just to put it on the formulary, we're not making a really big profit on introducing this medicine or holding it on the formulary. So it's going to cost your customers a lot more. This is also leading to consolidation of power where you see healthcare systems and insurance companies consolidating into monopolies. This is crazy. And we as the physicians have no say in this. We are just employees in the hospital. It becomes harder and harder to even own your own practice these days. As you see, there used to be a lot of physician private practices. That model is changing a lot. And the problem is doctors are getting older and older. It takes many, many years to train doctors and the healthcare system demands are increasing so much. There's so many sick people that we don't have enough supply of doctors to take care of them. So what's happening? We are now hiring mid-level providers, nurse practitioner, physician assistants who have a truncated training system and they don't get in-depth training as much as a doctor, and they have to care for very complicated patients and make life-changing decisions. Let me not go into the rabbit hole where how many mistakes have been made and life-altering mistakes have been made based on basic knowledge gaps that the mid-level could not provide. No knock on the mid-levels, but this is the reality that we're in. Why is this happening? Because we don't have transparency of money. Here's another reason why there's no transparency of money is because the PBMs force pharmacies to sign anti-transparency contracts. They force pharmacy to sign a contract to prevent them from sharing the price of a medication. This is insanity and it needs to stop. And the first way to stop it is to raise awareness about it. Pharmacy benefit managers equals not a good system, not sustainable for the patients. We want to reinvigorate doctors to become artists of medicine, compassionate providers. But when they pressure us into these corners where we cannot advocate for the patient, it all goes to the wayside. I just want to introduce you to the concept. PBMs, pharmacy benefit managers, look it up. Tell me what you think. Med Hustle Dr. G, I'm not here 
to make you pessimistic. I'm just here to raise awareness about this topic. It's very important. This is what happens behind the scenes. And this is just the tip of the iceberg about the complexity and the nuances of how the money moves in medicine. Let me know what you think. If you learned something from this video, like, thumbs up, share, whatever you want. I appreciate you for tuning in. We're just hoping to elevate the people and make healthcare a safer, more comfortable place for the patients. That's my agenda. Let me know what you think. And I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Peace.